Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for your week. This is going to be March 8th to the 14th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so we're going to be looking at your day today, your love interest feelings, your block slaves and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, what's going to be my Pisces Romantic Love Life? March 8th to the 14th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so Pisces. This is March 8th, March 9th, March 10th, March 11th, March 12th, March 13th, March 14th. This is your love interest feelings. This is the block place and challenges, and this is the overall outcome. And at the bottom of the deck, we see somebody who is very cautious, defensive, and the obstacle or blockage this week, we could be travel or someone's ego, desires, right? Willpower, right? So someone's like concerned, like, cause they have their ego in the way or they're, they're, there's a, like a, a, the sense of somebody is not driving things forward, right? They're not, they're not wielding their power. And it's like, they're falling back and surrendering to a situation that they need to take control of. And they're not looking at the signs, the hopeful signs around the situation. And they're getting caught up and not seeing that there's a divine situation going on here. All right, so, and if the day-to-day -day is confusing at all, Pisces, just stick with me till the end. I am gonna go back over, uh, well, I was gonna go into your love interest feelings, whoever this is, more into block days and challenges and the overall outcome. And again, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. So it looks to me like you could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy on the 8th. There seems to be a lot of slow walking here, someone who's overanalyzing, but there is some huge potential around this situation. Pentacles have to do with money, family, children, long term. Okay, so let's see more information here, Pisces. What's going to have my Pisces Romantic Love Life? March 8th to the 14th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So it looks like you are about to receive a message that you have been waiting for. What's going to have my Pisces Romantic Love Life? March 8th to the 14th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. C. This has to do with marriage. So someone has been slow walking, been taking their time when it comes to a long-term commitment, or there could be marriage around this situation or involved in the situation. Okay, so let's keep going here. What's going to my Pisces romantic love life, March 8th to the 14th? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So I feel like it's like saying to me, like, it's almost like a hidden hand around the situation. It's like they're seeing one thing, but then behind the scenes they're doing something else. So there's communication here about something you've been waiting for when it comes to this marriage situation and all that. But like I said, I feel like there's something that's hidden hand about this. It's like, and one, one side of this, it's like, yeah, this is what's going on, hun. This is what's going on. But then the other hand is like, mm, there's something else going on behind the scenes there. Okay, so let's see what this is about. There's a lot of soul searching going on here with the hermit card energy. Uh, lots of, you know, trying to reveal some things, trying to look at this in a deeper way. Looks like uh, you're getting some kind of knowledge with the book card energy about some concerns about sad news. So I feel like you guys are looking a little bit deeper into this situation. Even though this person is saying one thing, you feel like there's something else going on here. That's exactly what I feel like, okay, going on here about the situation when it comes to passion, okay? Okay, so it looks like you guys are about to make some type of decision this week with the Two of Wands energy. Um, because of something pertaining to money and finance or something of value and worth. 
there seems to be this sense of desperation around this situation. It's like someone's really feeling bad, you know, they don't know what to do. And this person seems to be crying and upset about this. So it seems like there's a lot of overanalyzing also, possibly because they're saying that, well, you know, the job and the finances and all those kinds of things. Okay, so let's let's keep going. We got the full card energy. Some of you guys are ready to go for a new person here with the full card energy, or um, there's a person that's gonna take a risk or leap of faith, or there's concerns about being foolish about this situation when it comes to looking at things to the past. There's a sense of wanting to stay hopeful about this situation. And it seems like there's this want to get control over this with the Emperor card energy. Because of all these disruptions, right? It seems like something, it's like there's always obstacles, disruptions, these things are getting in the way, these distractions around the situation. Let's keep going. So I see that there is a lot of movement happening here, especially around passion. And we see a lot of sadness about these disruptions. Okay. What's going to happen with my Pisces romantic love life, March 8th to the 14th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yep, again, that's what I was just saying to you guys. I feel like there's like saying one thing and then between the lines there's something hidden, like a hidden meaning. You're, you're feeling like the next day you're like a little bit shocked or surprised about this, a little bit unexpected. And it's like, all right, should I take a risk leap of faith here to reconcile with this person? Okay. It's because there's a lot of self-doubt here around the situation with the Nine of Wands energy. Okay. This person's saying, yes, I want to be with you. And I want your attention. But there is a lot of reflections of what have, has happened. And it's like, you're like, maybe I need some time alone. You know, maybe I need to think about this. You know, there's a sense of isolation, separation, wanting to just spend some time alone. Something that's coming in is something you've been waiting for, okay, by the 13th. So your ships are coming in and someone you've been waiting for, Three of Wands energy, okay. We see that there is some concerns about lying, deceptions, sly slick energy. Concerns about dishonesty here, about this situation. Yep. Again, we see this, something about this dishonesty. Okay, so, so bring it all together here. You feel like around your situation, it's like this hidden meaning and like there's something of a surprise, something unexpected about the situation. You're like, should I take the chance and just reconcile with this person or should I be single and available to pursue? Because I feel like this person's not being completely honest with me. You know, I, I'm waiting and I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the ships to come in here. And this person's saying, yes, yes, yes. But it's like they're saying one thing, we're doing another. Okay, kind of energy. Okay, so let's keep going. Yep, because you're looking back to the past and you're like, this is what happened before, right? All right. Mm, and you're, you're feeling like there's like some issues here, some obstacles. There's some things to overcome here around this situation. Okay. Let's also pull some uh, other cards here as well to get more information. Let's go by Pisces Romantic Love Life. March 8th to the 14th. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay. So again, um, we see there's some sly slick energy going on here. And trying to make a wise decision around this situation towards your long-term happiness. Sun card energy. Seems like there's some kissing and making up, reconciling with a person. But it's like, you're like, maybe I need some time alone to think about this. Okay. Okay, I see. And there's some disappointments. Okay, so I, I feel like in your situation, Pisces, I feel like there could still be a marriage. So I feel like this person could still be attached to someone else here. And you've been waiting for them to kind of move forward, but they've been overanalyzing. Or you're waiting for a marriage to take place or you want to get married, right? You want to move into a long-term commitment. It seems like there's some issues here. And you are feeling like 
do I continue on this way or do I just spend, uh, be by myself? You know, like there's a sense of loneliness or this person's not single and available to pursue and it's causing some kind of disappointment in the connection. Yeah, we got this friendship, this celebration, this hanging out, three of cups energy or more than one person about the situation. It looks like you're getting some kind of message, letter, document. And something about this child, fresh start, new opportunity. You're trying to listen to your intuition about this situation. And you're getting angry, upset here. About this relationship. Okay. So I feel like you guys are dealing with this, been dealing with this for a long time. Because, it, again, we see the chariot card. Something needs to be moving forward here, right? And you feel like there's a lack of movement here. Um, okay, so someone's doing some slastic energy to make wise decisions for happiness and trying to kiss and make up, but there's some disappointments about a relationship. Okay. Something in between the lines you feel like is a surprise to you about this situation. And you're like, I'm ready to take a risk to leap of faith. I want to reconcile. Uh, if they're single and available to pursue, but there's issues and arguments and fights about this, something about this toxic relationship. So there's communication about passion exercises and some sadness about the disruptions. There's a lot of reflections about things to do with before, and you guys are feeling like there's some uh, signs that you're seeing something that you don't feel is a coincidence that your intuition is telling you about. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. Now let's make sure that we have all the cards going on here. All right. How the heck did that happen? Okay. So let's see here. Okay. So there's Marriage commitments involve the situation. Sad news about a letter message document. There's this concern. Okay, is it the timing? And there's uh, attention being given to the situation, but lying and deceptions about uh, fresh start, new opportunity, or a child involved in the situation. Okay, there's something you've been waiting for, a message you've been waiting for, and you get some kind of knowledge about money and finance. They're hopeful. I want to be with you. But then there's some lying and deceptions about a visitor, visiting, or news. So it's like you feel like things are moving ahead, right? So there's a lot of overanalyzing, lots of soul searching going on about this decision. We see child card talks. This is, this is like the child card for the, uh, the full card energy. Fresh start, new opportunity, naivete, lots of self-doubt. It's something you've been waiting for. We see that there is this more than one person involved in the situation or wanting to celebrate, hang out, or you know, a friendship here, wanting to be more than just friends. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy is involved in the situation. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. And let's take a look at your love interest feelings. Whoever this is, they are reminiscing about the past. They are heartbroken and sad and then crying about the situation. They can't stop thinking about you. All right, with the four of swords energy. This person feels like they want some kind of positive turn of events around the situation because they are in love with you. And they feel like there's a sense of desperation here. This person feels like they've hit the jackpot. This is a lucky situation, a blessing to them. This person can't stop thinking about you. This person has some worries and concerns here. This person feels like there is an abundance of cautiousness here in this connection and worries and anxiety here. This person's concerned that there is some kind of third party situation or interference and that there's some kind of manipulation because of somebody playing games or not committing, which is causing some indecisions. All right, so the blockage lane challenge is the cherry card energy. So let's see what that's about. So there's a celebration, this party here, and we see giving to this situation and wanting to have faith that things are going to work out, 
but we see that there's something from before or considering um, somebody is concerned about being rejected or ignored, okay? So, so far, what do I see? I see there's been some overanalyzing in a relationship. Um, it could be because they're still married, there could still be a marriage involved, or uh, there's a want to get married to this person. And it looks like you guys are moving forward and it seems like something happens here towards the end of the week where they go somewhere, they do something, and they don't tell you about it. Like you don't, you, you find out about something there. But let's get to the overall energy and see what that's about. Because I see travel as part of the Blockchly and challenge here. Okay, so strength card is coming out. Six of Wands and Five of Cups. So someone wants you, and I hear a plane in the background traveling there. Someone wants to regain the confidence with you, okay? They want to get this victory. They want your attention because there has been a lot of regrets. I'm feeling bad about this situation. There we got the travel card coming out and two to three month expectations because of work and finance. There's this party, this celebration, and wanting to heal this situation with you at this house, this home. There is a, a strong determination here to gain the strength, courage, or confidence in your energy. There could be something about a sister, a daughter, a friend, or an infringing party, and feeling very stuck, stagnant, or complacent. We do see there could be some self-doubt or competition, and someone who wants to assert themselves and make a power move towards traveling here to have a sigh of relief around the situation. It looks like there's some socializing and spending time together, and concerns about being foolish because of uh, this happy, joyful energy. So it's like, I feel like you guys are kind of like in the place of like, am I just fooling myself about this situation? Like, you know, what's gonna happen with this? Like that kind of energy here, yeah. We see this want to just break apart, feeling like you deserve better, feel like there's a manipulation going on here because of a friend. And we see there's, you're seeing something on social media about their situation. And there's concerns about new love or an offer of love, or maybe you guys are ready to go for someone new. You guys are trying to listen to your intuition about the situation, but there is strong feelings here, and we see a family situation involved. Okay. So there's some kind of determination. You're getting angry and frustrated about this because of this hurt and pain. This person's trying to make you happy. But there is fr frustration here around this, and this person's trying to give you a peace offering here to manipulate the situation or assert their personal power. So we go further here. We see good advice, far away distant energy, or this uh, older masculine, could be a father, older brother, okay, uncle, okay, or just uh, another person here. We see distant, far away energy, two year wait. We see this mother, you know, this older sister, and we see concerns about this loss, main person, and receiving something of value or worth, right? Something unexpected. We see this main person, far away, distant, hopeful, wishful thinking. We see something about the finances. So it's like they're almost like they're seeing that I have to deal with this financial situation. I have this family stuff I got to deal with. You know, I want to give your attention. I want you to be right. I feel bad about this. Yep, you get clarity about this situation and there's some actions being taken here in a passionate way, Knight of Wands energy. There's concerns about spending money or a loss because of this decision, right? Or because of legal decisions, just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce, okay? And uh, there's a working together, building something and feeling defeated about this. It's like there's this deep love here and we see this twin flame soulmate connection but in this person's like i want to hold on to you but there's some juggling back and forth about a decision here with the two of pentacles energy which is causing some frustration and anger okay so with all that being said let's get you guys some advice 
So can I have some advice for my Pisces when it comes to the romantic love life for their highest best for the best possible outcome for them, March 8th to the 14th? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. It says, lighten up, stay in a place of happiness and joy. But you do need to look at the signs. So is this situation making you happy? Because you see the omens and the signs around this situation. And there is something that needs to go in your favor. There's a sense of forgiveness, healing needs to happen here. In order to follow your passions around the situation, definitely some healing needs to happen here. Um, when we see that there is a sense of this playfulness, right? And it's, it's very serious, but you have to look beyond the immediate appearances here around the situation. Um, and it looks like you have abundance coming in here if you choose your priorities here around the situation because it's like you're trying to make something happen. It's like saying stop trying to make things happen. Own your power and listen to your thoughts and your plans. Okay, so the bottom line with this situation is Pisces. Is this making you happy? Or do you feel like you keep trying to make stuff happen with this situation with this person and you feel like you're getting stuck and stagnant there? So this needs to be reevaluated, okay? But of course, my darlings, you don't have to take my advice if you don't want to. You know how I feel about this. You guys have free will. Follow your heart, listen to your intuition. You know what's good for you and best for you, okay? And my beautiful darlings, uh, the monthlies are up and available for you guys to watch right now. And you can see what's going on for the whole month here. And also my beautiful darlings, I'll see you guys in another date or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days and I will see you guys soon.